What's up guys? So today I'm going to show you how to set up a farming bot using a macro on Bluestacks. I'm playing Game of Thrones Conquest, but I'm pretty sure you could use this on a lot of different games. Um, so the reason I would do this is because I hate farming. It takes up a lot of time. It's boring. I don't enjoy it one bit. Um, so yeah, setting up a macro probably takes a minute or two. And it'll save you a lot of time in the long run. So getting into it, first you'll need Bluestacks. Uh, that's an application you could just find on online. And if you guys need a a guide on how to set it up, just let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to make one. So you'll obviously be at the home screen on your Bluestacks app. Um, when you click on your game, you know start your game up. Everything will be good. Hopefully. <laughs> the fuck is that beefing noise? Anyways, let's get started. So there's two things we need to set up beforehand, and that's if you click on this the map finder button down here. Um, first, we want to set our level range for um, the creatures we want to search for, and this is an alt account for me, so I'm going to be searching for one to twelves. Uh, click search. Yeah, we'll click on this, and then just make sure that you have your march selected, whatever march you want. And um, make sure it's got the, the, pro the appropriate amount of gear or troops in it, rather. Um, click save. It should all be good now. So what we want to do is go over to the right where it says macro recorder, or Control Shift Seven is the shortcut. Apparently now it's recording. Let's do that again. I don't. I don't. I think it should have brought this up first. So. Let's just try it again. So, Control Shift Seven. There we go. Brings up the Blue Stacks Macro Recorder, and we want to click on Record New Macro. So now that's recording. The first thing we want to do is click on the Map Finder icon down here. Now click on Events. Even though, even if it's already selected, just click on Events because you never know if it's going to start you off a general or default either. So click on Events. Click on Brick Caravans. Now that your level range is already set, we'll click Search. If it finds a creature, great. You want to click on Creature Found down here to put you on, like to, to kind of set the screen. Click it again, and we'll attack it. Um, click Attack. Now we'll have our March set as 1, or whatever you guys want. If it's 2, then click 2. Um, so that should be good enough. We'll click March. So that's a second away. Wait for it to come back. And then we will stop recording. Now, the next thing after that is to go to your macro. We'll click on this little um, gear, which is the settings. We want to select repeat execution as indefinitely until stopped. Um, this way it won't just run it once, it'll keep running it over and over and over until you stop it. Click save. And then I think we're ready. Now when you're farming in Game of Thrones Conquest, um, a good strategy is to go to your profile and just kind of like fill yourself up with like a whole bunch of stamina. We'll do, you know, four or five thousand stamina at a time. Costs a lot of gold, but it's worth it. And then... Hopefully this works. If we click play, see what happens. You could also speed it up if it's going too slow, but you know, this is perfect for me. Um, this way I could have this on the side and I'll be doing work or web browsing on my other screen. And then I could just kind of keep an eye on this just in case. There is one issue uh, that will happen, happen often is if there's no creatures found on your screen and then it'll just kind of bring up some other tab and like your building tab or something like that and then you just kind of have to like um, get on here scroll to where there's caravans or whatever kind of creatures you're looking for and just start the macro and it'll be all right so this is a little bit slow like i said i don't mind but in the macro settings you could speed it up a little bit the thing i'm looking for right here is just that it has success with continual um continual attacks on brick caravans without any input without any extra input so we have 
two two iterations right now and you can see up top it says macro running the second time so it's found the other caravan it'll hit it and then i think i'm going to speed up the video just to show you guys what happens when it runs out so i'm going to let this rock and i'll be back in i don't know a few seconds All right, so we didn't run out of um, out of enemies, but we're kind of in a loop right now where sometimes this will happen. This either happens if you run out of troops or um, can't really find enemies, so you'll you'll get stuck in like one of these screens, which isn't terrible. You'll just come back to the game and it'll be in here. Nothing really harmed. It won't like <laughs> usually <laughs> usually get stuck on the the builder screen for me. Um, so you won't find yourself like buying packs when not needed. Um, so that's good. So I ran, ran like 42, 41 times when that um, successfully. I don't really, wasn't really paying attention to, to when it got broken. But um, yeah, just stop, stop recording. And if the issue was running out of troops, just slow the macro down a little bit. And if you couldn't find things to attack, like for example, you know, should have put it, I honestly should have put it to this um, for testing. We're on the macro. And then we'll doing that. But uh, yeah, we'll see what happens when it doesn't find anything. So it kind of gets stuck in here and it'll probably find itself in the builder again. At least for this particular account, but in my other account as well, it does that. And uh, yeah, I think it's worth noting that I can be running this on, on let's say my alt, right? So let me do this, let me run it on my alt. And then, you know, I can be browsing the internet. Let's just say, let's just say I'm on YouTube, right? We want to watch a video. Oh, cute video. A little Taji. He's so cute. But anyway, yeah, we could be, you know, doing whatever we want. Come back to the game. It's still farming, which is great. We can also have um, double instances with blue stacks. And guess what we can do? Although, this kind of sucks, but yeah, we could, uh, we could set up multiple things to run at once, I believe. If not, let's try it out. So I'll run this again. Kind of just running it through on this, this other account. I'm running this one a little bit faster, so we'll see how that reacts. And we'll just stop now. Macro 2, run indefinitely, and we'll just run it normal. So, while we're running Macro 1 on this guy, let's run Macro 2 on this and see if that works. Cool. So, I haven't done this before. I'm only kind of running on one instance, but yeah, two instances is just as good. I don't know how many, how many people are <laughs> playing multiple keeps in this game, man. But, or hell, multiple kingdoms. Sounds awful. But yeah, that's, setting up a bot is super simple. Saves a lot of time. Um, I guess it's also good to note that eventually you'll just have to go back and Heal your troops, because uh, it doesn't really do that. You could probably add that into the macro if you want. 
but I usually don't do that. I usually just kind of come back and um, fix the bot if it needs to be fixed. If I need like a a new batch of caravans, I'll go teleport somewhere. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. So it's usually not going to be perfect on the first run through. So it will require a little bit of um, watching over. But you'll get it. You'll get it nice and perfect. I believe. I believe. So thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, please comment below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, if you guys need any help setting up blue stacks, I'd be, I would be glad to help you. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one.